Hi, my name is Beth Sharp and I'm the Worldwide Technical Leader for SAP Modernization with AWS. Thank you for viewing this AWS Generative AI for SAP use case in our series of videos. JD? Hi, my name is JD Prathor. I am Senior Solution Architect focused on innovation topic of integrating SAP workload with AWS services. We're pleased to demonstrate how finance users can gain real-time insights from their SAP finance data with AWS Generative AI services. Management teams are seeking real-time access to data and insights to quickly understand answers to critical questions. Managers need insights to prepare for meetings when they are traveling and to quickly generate content with these insights. We will start with an overview of the SAP Finance Digital Assistant followed by a demo and a review of the architecture. Finance is often the area that leads digital transformation, looking at how AI and generative AI can drive insights, value, and productivity. One use case in which AWS generative AI can assist finance managers is to summarize financial data for insights and for content generation. The example that you will see in this demo is for a finance manager that works for a media and entertainment enterprise who travels frequently but needs quick access to data and insights using natural language. My colleague JD will walk us through a demo and an architecture. JD? Thanks, Beth. Let's review the data for the demo. Since you are finance manager for media and entertainment enterprise, the fictional data considered for this demo includes movies. The sample data includes year, quarter, territories, and other attributes, as well as it also includes revenue, cost, and profit information. Now let's see the demo, what SAP Generative AI Assistant can do for you and your business. You are now looking at Generative AI Assistant UI based on the sample data you saw. You can ask to provide top five revenue regions for particular quarter and year. And you get the region for that particular quarter and year. You want to get further details for one particular region uh, based on revenue. So you ask that question and Generative AI Assistant get you the answer for that particular region. Next, you want it to perform a task, maybe generate an email for your CFO. So you ask Generative AI Assistant to generate an email summary for your CFO with details. And it does that for you with proper punctuations. It starts email with greetings. It summarizes the data. If you noticed, you ask question for Q3 2023, and it provided you further details, even mentioning about the growth compared to last year, same quarter. So it generated summary for you, it generated analysis for you, and it also generated email for you. It can do other tasks as well, depending on your use case. To build, you can use five of AWS services, starting with Amazon Lex. Amazon Lex is a conversational chatbot service which curates conversation from your application using voice or text. AWS Lambda is a serverless compute service where you can write and execute your code without provisioning and managing servers. Amazon Bedrock is a fully managed service with multiple options to choose from large language models for building generative AI applications. Amazon Kendra is a search service for your enterprise data using natural language processing. Amazon S3 is a simple storage solution, provides you with object storage solution. Let's look at the architecture built using these services. On the left-hand side, you have SAP S4 HANA ERP, which is within SAP RISE VPC. You will transfer your data from SAP S4 HANA into Amazon S3. And then you will build index using Amazon Kendra. Next, when you or your customer ask question to perform a task, the question 
or the task gets transferred from Amazon Lex, which curates the discussion between UI and AWS Lambda. AWS Lambda gets the question or the task and collects the corresponding document from Amazon Kendra. AWS Lambda then uses LangChain to retrieve data from Amazon Kendra index documents and passes the data and question to large language model. In this case, Anthropic Cloud. Large language model then interprets question or the task and collects the data, curates the response, which is then taken back to AWS Lambda and Amazon Lex, and finally delivers UI as a response. So that's the architecture. Now let's ask Beth to help you to get started with your digital assistant. Thank you. Now you know how AWS generative AI capabilities can enable decision making by analyzing SAP data. Similar use cases may exist with different data from other functional areas and in other industries. For example, a sales manager can analyze sales data before going to see a customer, or a supply chain manager can gain insights and generate emails for their team with questions or insights regarding their shop floor, procurement, or shipping operations. As next steps after the demo of this AWS for SAP Generative AI use case, we will work with you to understand your use cases and share Generative AI on AWS training opportunities for you and your team. We can work towards a proof of concept with help from our experts who can guide you through your Generative AI journey on solving diverse business problems, aligning business and technical stakeholders, and building an executable roadmap. We hope this video will help your SAP Generative AI on AWS innovation journey. Thank you for spending time exploring our SAP Digital Assistant for Generative AI and AWS. Please reach out to JD Barai or your account team for information. Thank you.